Hey guys, it's Megan. Um, it's Snuggling Nun at GossipMember.com, and I'm here to make another gift tutorial. I actually just recorded this, and then I realized I wasn't getting the sound, so I have to redo it, which is really, really annoying. And if you follow me on Tumblr, you probably know that. So, um, I was requested to make another gift tutorial. Um, so, actually, a few more. There's a few I have to do, so I'm going to be doing them all. text and yeah so and if you don't know how to make a gif um, I'll put the link to my gif tutorial in the description below otherwise I'll post it in my community notes and that's what I'll do so yeah okay so I'm actually just gonna remake the gif I just made which is show you guys uh, a little tip, I guess, um, what I do when I'm making my GIF. So, like I said in my last tutorial, um, your GIFs can only be like 14, sometimes 16, and sometimes only even 12 or under frames, so, because otherwise they're too big to upload to Tumblr. So, what I do is when I have a GIF that is a lot of frames, but I want like all those frames. I delete every other frame, so you can do that by click, um, clicking Control and then just pressing the frame, every other frame. So that just makes it better. And yeah. Okay. So sure that when you're doing text you're on design so up here with side essentials design and then you're gonna click the little text icon and then you're gonna make a block and then I'm going to be writing potato on this because um, that's what I want to do because um, it's my last segment so and I mentioned this in my last tutorial too when you're doing text or like um, anything else um, your layer will be at the bottom, so you want to take that and drag that all the way up to the top, otherwise it won't show up. And then, um, okay, so when you, when you have a layer, I mean the text, take it and you can drag it by clicking on this and then moving it. But if you're moving it, you want to make sure you're on layer one, otherwise it um, will only move on one layer. So, for example, I just moved it on layer 12, and now the only layer 12 is moved. So that's why when you move it on layer one, it will move on every layer. But if you move it on layer eight, for example, it will only move on layer eight. So you kind of see what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so that's how you move things. Okay, so um, to make it bigger, just highlight it. And then up here, you can choose font size. And if there's not a specific font size you want here, you can just type it in. also change the color so you can make it red whatever you want just drag this around and then normally when I'm making gifts I do white or black but yeah if you're
your choice. So, yep. Okay, and then you're going to come over here, and I think most people want to know about stroke, so I'm going to show you how to do the stroke. So make sure you're on layer one, and then click this. There's actually supposed to be another box here, but I accidentally deleted it, and I can't get it back. So, click um, on the last row, click the middle one. It will be the middle one for you, but for me it's the first one. So click it, and then come here to your text on the side, and right click stroke, click stroke, and then this box will open up to um, just give you, so you can change it. I usually do three, and then you can change the position, so inside, center, most people do outside, you can change it all, just play around with these, and you can change the color, I'm just going to do black, oh and by the way, I'm sorry that I sound like a man, it's because I'm sick and my throat really hurts, so yeah, and then you can also, when you have this box open, you can also do other things, so you can click on drop shadow, and it will give the drop shadow, um, and then you can play around with that, check the box if you want it, and then you can do outer glow, inner glow, whatever you want, bevel and emboss, so yeah, just kind of play around with that stuff, it's it's really straightforward, and then press ok, and then it will be on your text, and now that's annoying because I moved 8, so now it's moved, which is annoying, and then um, you want to, if you're making a gif, you want to make sure you put on your watermark, so that way, if someone steals your GIF and reposts it, your watermark is on it. I usually do size 11 or 12. Ooh, that's awkward with the font change. Okay, and then you can come over here to opacity and you can change the opacity so it's not even showing it's kind of showing or it's fully showing I usually do like 80 on my um, on my watermark so it's not like taking over the, the whole gif but it's there and then <coughs> yeah so that's all you do and then you can go over here and you can make it bold you can make it all capitals or not you can make it italic here, you can put a line through it or a line underneath it, and you can also change the font here and the size and everything, or you can do that up there, but I think this is a little bit easier. And yeah, so that's pretty much all um, you do, like, that's just kind of the basics of text. I don't know if there's anything else you wanted me to explain or not, but I think I just kind of got the basics. If you want to do other things, just play around with, like, the designs over here. It's just, I don't know, just fiddle with it, and yeah. And then file, save for web and devices. Um, and now I mentioned this in my last video too, you want to make sure it's under a thousand here, otherwise it won't upload to Tumblr. So I'm just gonna make it smaller until it's small enough to upload to Tumblr. Okay, so now, and then you can play it here, and then save, it's funny because in the last tutorial I recorded, I didn't know how to spell potato, I put an E on the end, because I'm dumb, and yeah, so, and then you're going to go to Tumblr, photo, choose file, and then open the folder you saved it in, and then find it, and then you want to make sure you put your URL here so people know that you uploaded it, and then add tags,
and then you can click upload, although I'm not going to upload it because I just did this like two minutes ago. And yeah, so basically that's um, the basics of text. I don't know, I hope you're, I answered your questions. If not, I'm sorry, and just like message me again, I'll try and answer them. And yeah, so anyways, um, I'll try and get to the other tutorials you guys have requested for me as fast as I can. And thank you for watching and give me your feedback and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.